In this module, we would further look into the uses of murabaha in the context of Islamic banking and finance. But before we do so, let us look at the classical murabaha once again. As I said, in case of classical murabaha, the basic requirement was disclosure of the profit. So this is a sale contract between a seller and a buyer such that it is a requirement for the seller to disclose their profit. And of course, in most cases, this was a spot sale. And someone may say that what was the purpose of this one? Why would someone who is selling something to a prospective buyer tell the cost of procurement of that item? Why would someone disclose the profit? Pakistan mein to dukandar apna profit disclose nahi karta. In many cases, wo apna profit jitna hota hai, usse kam hi disclose karte hain. So in case of Murabha, why is there this requirement that the profit should be disclosed to the buyer? Uh, are there any examples? Uh, basically, this contract was used for the items for which there was no established market. For example, Mulk Sham se ek tajir Madina ki market mein aata hai aur wo koi aisi cheez bechne ki koshish karta hai bazaar mein rakh deta hai aur kehta hai ji ye bechne ke liye hai wo koi khoobsurat si ek cheez hai ye koi leather based product ho sakti hai ya koi aisa precious stone ho sakta hai jo kisi ne pehle na dekha ho ya dekha to ho lekin ye pata na ho ki iski qeemat kya hai so if someone is interested in buying that item and they have no idea what is the fair price of this one, they can always ask the seller, tell us how much did you pay for it. Agar tum ne sao rupay mein ye khareeda hai, to hum 120 mein khareed lenge, 150 mein khareed lenge. Agar tum ne sao ka khareeda hai, hum 5000 ka to na becho. So this was actually the intention behind the contract of Murabaha. In economics, we call it the economics or the Murabaha actually allows the buyer and the seller to reduce information asymmetry. The seller knows a lot more than the buyer. So this information asymmetry is there. The contract of Murabha makes this information asymmetry less, which is efficiency enhancing. So this is one classical example of the use of Murabha. In modern context, most of the intra-group transactions, ye jo bade bade industrial group hote hain, unki kai companya hoti hain ek hi group ke andar. तो ये जो कंपनियां आपस में भी कुछ लेन-देन करती हैं होता तो यही है कि शेयर होल्डर्स ऑफ द ग्रुप दे आर द सेम पीपल हाउएवर दीस कंपनीज विद इन द ग्रुप दे आर डिफरेंट एंड इन ऑर्डर टू मेक श्योर दैट देयर इज नो टैक्स इवेजन और समथिंग इनोवेटिव विन द विद द अकाउंटिंग प्रैक्टिसेस द रेगुलेटर्स और द टैक्स गाइस दे रिक्वायर that whatever transactions or some transactions which you do in the form of intra-group transactions, they should be based on cost plus basis, i.e. they should be on Murabha basis. Now, we looked into home financing product, for example. There are some car financing products. Uh, available in the market on the basis of Murabaha and we would look into this in one of the forthcoming modules. Uh, but let's look at the agreements and contracts which are used in Murabaha 
as a mode of finance. Murabha, not as a contract. Contract to humne keh diya hai ki ye ek bada simple sa contract hai, jis mein seller ko profit batana hota hai. However, murabha as a mode of finance, this is a lot more complicated than the murabha as a contract. Ab isme kya hota hai? Isme ek application form hota hai. The finance seeking party would have to fill in this application form. Isme purchase undertaking hoti hai. And we mentioned this purchase undertaking in the context of home financing. Ye car financing mein bhi hoti hai. Murabha sale and purchase agreement. This is another very important contract. Sale and purchase agreement between the bank and the vendor. In some cases, there is wakala agreement as well. Now, the bank may appoint the customer as its agent to buy the house and then sell it to himself on behalf of the bank. And similarly, in case of cars as well, there is a takaful arrangement part of the deal as well. Collateral agreement. Bank ne paise diye hue hain, finance ki hui hai. Bank would like to make sure that the money is returned to it. So that collateral agreement is there as well. And then there are some general terms and conditions which the customers have to sign. In general terms and conditions mein kya hota hai? Us mein ye hota hai ki hume paise time pe doge. Aur ye jo cheez tumne murabha ke upar khareedi hai, ye hume bataye bagair nahi bechoge. So this kind of general terms and conditions are there as well. Now, in case of the customer and the bank, application form, purchase undertaking, murabha sale and purchase agreement, wakala agreement, collateral agreement, general terms and conditions, these are between the customer and the bank. And the bank and the vendor has this sale and purchase agreement and transfer of liability agreement. This is very important. Transfer of, of liability means what? Now, in case of a car dealer, for example, the bank actually buys the car from the dealer. And this warranty and guarantee card, all these things are in the name of the bank. The bank would not like to be part of the equation once it has sold the item to the customer. So, they actually inform the dealer or the manufacturer that actually this is our intention. We are buying it from you. However, we are going to selling it on to someone else. So all these things, guarantees, etc., they should be in the name of the ultimate customer. So transfer of liability agreement in many cases is very relevant. Now, although this is not part of the Murabha deal, however, a bank may not provide you financing on the basis of Murabha if you haven't got insurance or if you do not intend to have Islamic insurance slash the Kaful. So that the Kaful agreement is between you and the Kaful operator. So there are, as you can see, there are so many contracts involved in case of Murabha as a mode of financing. Now, Murabha as a mode of financing is not just simple Murabha contract. It involves so many arrangements. It combines so many relationships. Only then an Islamic financial product based on Murabha as a mode of financing comes into the market.